Hello there, good morning. Coming up on the show, Dan's here with news on Meghan's new job and Prince Harry's rather unexpected guilty pleasure. Lights, camera, action. What action do I have for you today? Here at this secret location in Hollywood, I am going to reveal the next contestant on Strictly Come Dancing. Not kidding. See you later. Um, if it wasn't for Catherine Moore, do you think there'd be a chance that you and Amy would still be together? And fresh from that awkward reunion with Amy last night, Love Island's Curtis reveals what happened when the cameras stopped rolling. First, I'm joined this morning by Louise, whose career in music has spanned more than 25 years. Gorgeous that is, and Louise joins us now ahead of the release of Heavy Love, her first album in 18 years. I, don't, I know. How <laughs> does it feel to be back? Because you did have a burning desire to get back up on stage for a long time. Really. Yes, yeah. Do you know watching all the, the clips back when we were just saying, <laughs> like, we have so many memories yeah, going back. Yeah, every word of those songs. <laughs> um, do you know, it's just good to be back. It's, it's weird. I never, ever made a conscious de decision to stop making music. I think I just had a family, life took a different path, and it was just a really long break <laughs> really long <laughs> um yeah but to be back i mean it feels like i was never away it's it's when you get out and you start gigging and you're out with the band and you're starting putting tour dates in you think okay this is real now yeah. this is what's really going on <laughs> <laughs> and what does it feel to get back into the writing process and being back into the studio as well there's a lot of pressure as well isn't there? there's a lot of competition obviously Do you know i started off with a writing deal so before i actually decided to make a proper album i just went in and um, i signed to warn us about just writing with, with a view of maybe an album but it was so um i think for me it was the first time i've had the opportunity to write on an album with some great writers, Sinead Harnett, Ray's on the album, Jojo's got a song on the album, and some great sort of writers from all over the world. And actually, I have something to say. I, I think when, I, when you're 18, 19, you've got stuff to say, but it's very different from being a mum and, you know, yeah. the last few years of you my life. Lived and lived yeah. really, I suppose. So, um, yeah, you can really tell the album's like a bit of a story, but... It's personal, it is personal, and you took yeah. the time to do it that way. I, I took me 18 months to make the album, to, to write it, and then I recorded it. And um, I think it took me so long, because I went through so many different emotions. And it's a really... Po I think people were expecting quite a, maybe sort of a mid-tempo, slow heartfelt album but it's actually quite empowering i sort of it was like full steam ahead this was hands in the, the air album like i need i need some moments where everyone wants to just get up and dance and, yeah and um a good old bit of funk feel in there <laughs> the old school matters <laughs> i look at the videos there they look gorgeous oh. really and you're gorgeous in it but it's just very slick i mean do you again have a lot of input in that now because of this is a new chapter of music for yes. you so it's kind of you want to have your fingerprint on everything everyone that works for me says there's slight control issues i uh, i really do i take every i think i'm one of very few artists that goes to every production meeting before we make a video like i'm across everything I'm in the edit, I like to go into the grading, but it's been so many years I've been doing it that I think I know what I want to watch and what I want to see. And I think most people sit at home, most probably are similar to me. We just know what makes us feel good and what we want to look at. I mean, Stretch was slightly more, uh, I've, known, I've been sort of well documented that the kids were like, you really going to do this to us, <laughs> Mum? Like, Charlie's 15 now. It's like, for a while, it's, it's like, no Charlie's mates mates and and say. <laughs> It's when they kept coming into the kitchen saying to me, um, hi Louise, is it possible to get some water? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, help yourself. <laughs> I was like, get out of the kitchen and leave my mum alone. <laughs> How have they kind of come to terms with mum being back on the scene and such then and kind of getting back up on the stage and seeing her perform? Because they were only little things. Yeah. And... 
I know, you know I think that's of... been one of the most amazing parts of doing this again. They all knew that I used to sing, but since they were born, I was just mum at home. You know, dad was the one out doing his thing, and mum used to be a singer, but they were not particularly interested. So now it's so nice when they're proud, oh. having... And because my boys, are, they've been through the whole thing, so I'd get in the car and play them a track and say, right, do you like this one? And just yes or a no. If it was a no, it was binge, you know? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't coming on the album. Um, but what's so nice is when I'm doing a show and they want to come and they're at the front row and, you know, Charlie brings four or five mates. He's at that age where he doesn't go anywhere without some sort of a crew. Yeah. <laughs> the 10-year-old Bo is quite yeah. happy just to be sat with me in the band. But, um, yeah, I think... That's been the most amazing part of all this, having the, the boys be and witness what I used to do and yeah. what I'm doing now. Of course, of course. And you see, we see you dancing in those videos and clearly you are a brilliant dancer. We saw that on Strictly. <laughs> and I suppose Strictly in many respects allowed you to feel like you could get yeah. back on stage, didn't it? Because it was putting yourself out there again. I think so. I think it's really easy when you've been in the industry to the level I was as sort of a younger person, and then you take time away. You, you never really know if anyone's interested. You, you kind of... Opportunities might come through the door, but mm. the last thing you want to do is make an album and nobody really cares. Yeah. Um, so I think what Strictly does, it just makes you... puts you back in people's minds. I mean, A, I had a great time learning to dance because I love dancing, and I know we've spoken about yeah. this. But I think what Strictly allowed me to do was get back out there and for people to go, wow, I used to love that record. Or And it just gives you opportunities. Yeah. And I sort of did grab them with both hands. Absolutely, yeah. Well, does it make you think then about potential eternal kind of reunions? <laughs> we, we see all the bands doing it. Yes. All the fans love it. It's <laughs> almost a no-brainer, Louise. <laughs> the girls know nothing about this, Yeah, well, I think we should just tell them today. <laughs> but I did, I did. I have said in, you know, the last few interviews, it would be great to do a one-off. I mean, Stay was 25 years ago. Oh, don't um, say that. I know. <laughs> so I, I do think if the opportunity, opportunity arose, then it would be amazing to do something with them. I was so proud to be part of Eternal. I mean, it was a great yeah. band and one of the biggest selling girl band albums ever. Yeah. yeah. So um, I think to, to go back out on the road with them or to do a one-off special, 25-year special, would be great. They're most probably sitting at home now going, what? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> No one's told well, us about this. I'm them. planning it, girls. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, a big tour hopefully coming up as yeah, well for I you. Yeah, I can't wait for that. And Heavy Love, we say, the new album's out the 18th of October. Yes. And we were just listening to Lead Me On there, which is such a gorgeous track, gorgeous video. Thanks so much, Louise. Oh, thanks. So good to see you. You too. Good to see you this morning. Um, OK, still to come.